Hello, in this video we will create a pop-up window in Unity. So to do that I'll first create a UI element canvas. That's the canvas. And inside I will create an empty object to be the balance of the elements that I will create after. So we'll call the pop-up window help. And inside that right click I'll create another UI element is of type panel and I will call it uh, background and if I go to the uh, background inspector I will change the source image as uh, the source image to none and the background to a slightly darker color. Well, my half that is to 20. Of course, all the RGB. Okay. And um, let's see, we'll have it as 2D. And now we can change the uh, the uh, pivot to be in the center, and let's change the um, the width to eight hundred and the height to say six hundred. So there is it. All right, so that's the, uh, I'll just make sure that, oh, I'm just changing the transparency to false, so it's, uh, the object is non-transparent, or the HNL. All right, so that's the background. So I'll copy the background panel by pressing Control D, I'm using Windows, and I will rename the copy to foreground. And we'll change the width. Um, uh, maybe I'll keep the width, just change the height to 550 and give it a different color, maybe a very bright color. All right, that's done. Now we can uh, create a text under the help to be the title of the menu. So UI text, well, it's better to be text mesh pro uh, type. I'll name it as, I'll click import TM essentials, TMP essentials. That will take a moment. Okay, that's, that's it. And we'll rename the text to, I'll name it, uh, help title. I will change the color of the text to black. And maybe the size to 18. And let's see, we can change the uh, the anchor to the top left and have the X as zero, Y zero, and maybe change the uh, pivot to zero X and one Y. Then when we put zero X, zero Y. If we go back to the help to the parents and change its width to match its width to 800 and to height to 600 so it's match the elements inside it now if we go back to the uh, help title we'll see it's in the it's it fits in the corner at position x and y to give it a bit of offset we can change the x to 15 
and if we change the height to 25 it will match this area here the leftover of the background and yeah it's look fine for now okay we can create or just duplicate this uh, text item by pressing ctrl d and we'll call it help text and um, we'll just move it across through the y and we'll have it increase its width and height to match maybe the width would be uh, giving that the, the total width is 800 and I want 15 um, uh, to be offset from each side so it will be 760 that's the width and the height would be maybe uh, because we have uh, 25 top 25 button and the total is 600 so that's 550 with 15 offset each so that would be 520 okay and so I need to bring it down um, 25 plus 15 that's minus 40 okay so that's a nice place now and I could just change it to whatever you want hello this is um, just uh, just help text text for help and whatever you want to put underneath it anyway okay so that's done now we can create a button uh, so we'll go back to help UI and button text mesh pro button and we call it uh, button close maybe and um, we'll change its uh, pivot to be in the top uh, sorry bottom right and have its x and y to zero for now and change its pivot for the x to be one and for the y to be zero let's try that again okay and maybe we change the height to 25 all right and the width to 50 maybe and we can change the text size to 18 maybe increase the width to the button width to 75 okay let's look fine for now okay so in the button we can go to only click and add and um, an event and we can drag the whole help uh, group in and from the function we can select game object set active but that takes boolean true or false and so on a click the button the, um, the, 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 the item will be inactive which it means invisible and I can change the button text to close if I click play and this is the uh, uh, the the, the uh, pop-up window and if I click close it will disappear now we just need to create another button if we click it so the pop-up to to appear so what we can do that by right click on canvas UI uh, button with text mesh pro and I'll just create say uh, button 
name it button help and um, well, we can just position it just drag it to minus 500 and um, oh, it could be anywhere just for testing but for here I'll change its text to help okay so now we could select the help menu or the help pop-up pop window window and and make it invisible but when the button help button gets clicked I'll add an event and we'll drag the whole help uh, parents or group into it and go to game object um, set active and make it uh, true so when the buttons get a click when the help button get click the uh, all help group will be open and the help group would be invisible when the close button get close uh, get clicked again so to test that if i click play click the help that will show the pop-up uh, window and when i hit close it will disappear and that's it this is how you create a pop-up window in unity